this woman told me something and I thought she was lying after three minutes I saw the whole family the, the husband and the sister she had, she, she had a child of four months she had a dream she had a she was out with her friends and then they had fish when she woke up, she wanted to eat fish a lot. When she approached the fridge, she took a fish and put it in water. She wanted to eat the fish raw. She wanted to eat the fish raw. Yes, she, she prepared the fish when it was still raw. She could not wake the maids up. She prepared it. She put in hot water for it. It was a big fish. She, the, she wanted to take the inside of the fish. She, she felt that she could not see. It looked yummy to her. She put in the mouth. She started from the head. She ate it. She ate it all until the tail. You know how it has many so much big bones. It would pierce her. It would pierce through her. She, she would remove, she had so much bones and bones. She had so much blood, you could not differentiate her blood from the fishes. She was screaming, the husband came. He saw that all the inside of the fish were from here. He said, what happened to you? She said, I had dreams. I was sitting with so and so. We were eating fish. When we wait, we woke up, I felt I wanted to eat it. I was craving fish. Now, because the mighty people, they were hiding it, they hid it. They found doctors. They said, we don't know, we can't help you. How can we cure her? She's going to eat it as well. So, they counseled her, they went through different professionals. She, she went she to the doctor would eat raw meat even raw meat after the raw she fish she would put in so, ma so much salt she, she drank so much, so a, a lot of water when she was breastfeeding. They kept it and hid it and hid it. So when I was in the office, they came without any appointments. That was the first time I heard such a story. When she opened her mouth, there were wounds. Raw, fresh wounds. Her mouth was swollen. I brought tear, I came tears, I said, the, the devil is alive. Sometimes I face something. When it is the first time I'm seeing it. But this word comes back to me. Take it before the king. We have a king that is never defeated. He's never tired. He has mighty arms, not like people. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 
Yes. Uh, yes. See. Now we take a go hagarara in Bereaban. Mami man, I bet a maso mukwambere, mukwaka bidi, mukwaga tattoo, mukwakanga. Bakaba Jesu, you must. I am blessed to stand before people God has protected from January until today. Had it yet to many ribino? Sometimes you get used to things. Had it yet to many ranine? Sometimes you get used to feel like I'm alive. Mm-hmm. Now who may sing I am breathing. Mm-hmm. Ukuboko kwaf. My arm is moving. Mm-hmm. Iyaba waruzi. If only we knew. What it requires God. The grace that He has put for you. I was opened. My eyes were opened. Because I visit the sick people so many times. So narasu yumu sumwe iyonguru nyivuga kensh. I say I tell this story a lot because it changed my perspective. I've, I've been I saw a businessman, a really wealthy businessman. She was taken everywhere in all the countries. Woman. Oh, business woman, sorry. She was a business woman and they could not help her. So they brought her here. They gave her painkillers because they could not help her. There was a bed sheet and when they would cover her, it was as if there was no one there. And she approached her and said, Uri murasaba amasaha abiri mfite amasaha 24 ntaribwa I asked her and she said the, the one thing that I want you to pray for me for is to spend 30 minutes no 2 2 hours without pain and now I think about how I have to Kandi warebu kuno abisaba n'umutima we bose ndari non stop barama calma iminoti ibiri nkari ibwa ndababara naratatse gutaka byararenze naricha byararenze mama Julienne ntabara basi imasaha biri mpumekeho mfate telefone basi ngira bo mvugisha basi amasaha biri nibinkorera basi simvuze kunyiza koko kunyiza ko ntabwo bishoboka ariko nyuma yigaru ya toke okay 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 basi imama hirwe and she is in so much pain. Is to hold her two twins and tell them I love you for the last time. If only you could know that what you have is what other people are praying for. Yara yaji yafu gibi no nuva biri mo bira ngora ho abona ho bugo uje kumuteri hunga ni utanje kurira. What she was saying was touching me and I started crying when I was supposed to help her. I am going to go chira to bireke. Ibindi amafaranga narayariye ubuzima naraburiye atangira kumbwira muri weekend ahantu yajyaga kurira kashi ati byo byose ni bule ni bule ati imimi amasaha abiri nzapfe basi ntaribwa basi inyure ntaribwa ariko dufite imana y'inyembabazi 
she told me she only had two prayer requests, only to hurt her child and to die without feeling pain. But we have a merciful God. Iti tanga zano kuyumusi arimuba anave yara chize imana mujirienes. Ni mana ida tangi jitche. Iya watkwa garuka na gamashimne wawerero. Ufita masahabiri mkuwa mbere mkuwa kabiri Ujezeze mkuwa tsumi na kabiri Niyabu haya masahabiri gusa Niyabu haya masatanu Haguru katu ihimba za tuishime Yikomera masi uyimuntu Hallelujah Ayo mashini matea narivu za tu ya humami watu You may be seated. May God bless you. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I greet you in the name of Jesus. I am your friend. I haven't been here in a while, but I am your friend. Pastor Christophe, ni ni ba mungi tinshuti, ni ba mungi tichi. Wanzali ni ba di brother. Sinda me ni zali bjo. Ariko he's the best. Ni vuga best. Nda vuga ba mungi mungu mbara inshuti zamagar. Pastor Christoph is my friend, he's my brother, but most of all, he's my best friend. Yes, have been shooting, have been shooting, have been shooting, my girl. They're friends and friends, but they're best friends. So, are you shooting? Your mama got a job, your job, your son, your son, your son. She me man a chance, kubugu, ni man a mushizeho, ni mbaba zino kukore ni man a chiri muto ya mudi. Amen. I thank God for him for the grace that He has placed upon him to serve God. Why? Hamwe no mudamo we imani ba mudi shamish. And his wife may God bless you so much. Aha, aha, aha. Muga fuka munwa rebu kwejera yumugi uti wa hajazura haris. Tell your neighbor, are you here? Eh, eh. Turi munzu yima na mureveneza kuwe rimamvu zumute kano nume zere ari kumubiru tiwa eh 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 na kurapi wa shojuma kado do do. Tell your neighbor, you have ended the year. We are closing the year. Mubiru ngo abasome kuva mukwambere ni benshi ari ko harimamvu wa simbu tura simbu kura simbu ka nukujira ngugaru kana mashimi mbere yima. The reason why God has kept you is to come back with thanksgiving. Umami mana ba umujishani tuka Julien Kabirigi. Kabanda. Her name is Julienne Kabirigi Kabanda. Dumubje in Dumushumba, Kanin Din Shutiahano, Dumba Utazira Nyetu Menyan. She's a mother, she's a pastor, and she's a, she leads a church. Aba Mibambere. First Kings. Hadin Huru Imana and she's a Kumutima. Mujihe Tugaruka Namashimne. There's a story that God has put in my, on my heart as we praise God. There's a story that's blessing me so much. It's becoming new every single day. I think, mm. I think the story is blessing me these days and when something is blessing me, I know that that's what God wants me to share. Yes. We are in First Kings. Chapter three. We will start at twenty uh, sixteen. We will start at sixteen. First Kings three sixteen. Are we there? Aha, Salomo achira abagore babiri manza bucheye abagore babiri baba maraya basanga umwami bamu bamuhagarara imbere merci umwe muri bo aravuga ati nyagasani nabanaga n'uyu mugore mu nzu imwe bucheye turi kumwe mu nzu mbyara umwana ngira gute Mjarumana, Arabi Zineza Kuyabjai. Maze, Mazi Minsi Tatum Jai, Uyumugore na Warabjara Turikum, Namu Hitsi Warikum and Artque, Murions, Keretet Quebu Gatch, Vanguamina. Amen. Arikonin Joro, Umana, Uyumugore, Arajagute, Semasana, Arapa. Apa urupfu rutunguranye azizitsi 
azize yuko ya muryamiye vuga ngo mwizina rya Yesu no 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 azize yuko ya muryamiye iyi nkuru irimo irakora ibintu bikomeye mu buzima bwanje iyi minsi kabisa mirongo 22 ico gicuku arabyuka ankuru umwana mu gituza wabyutse mwa mumenye wa mugore wapfushije umwana we yagize courage yo kugira gute yo kubyuka mu gicuku murebe ibyo yakoze arabyuka anza kunkuru umwana wanje mu gituza ubwo umuja wawe nari nsinziriye amuryamisha mu gituza cye eh eh wa undi wapfuye amunyamisha he mu gituza cyanje my god mana yo mwijuru eh mbyutse mu museke konsa umwana nsanga yagize gute yapfuye vuga ngo mwizina rya Yesu ntabwa pfuwanje name of jesus ariko mu gitondo Imani shimye kubera igitondo. Thank God for the morning. Imani shimye kubera igitondo izanya mu buzima bwawe. Thank God for the morning is bringing you. Mwitegereje mbonako atari umwana wanje nibyariye. So ibyo wibyariye ntabwo byitiranya. What you gave birth to Iyo babihinduye urabimenya ko icyo ufita atari cyawe. When they change it you know that it is not yours. Undi mugore aravuga ati oya umuzima no wanje uwapfuye no wawe impaka uwambera ati oya wapfuye nuwawe umuzima nuwanje babivugira batyo imbere y'umwami nuko umwami aravuga ati yemwe umwe ati umuzima nuwanje wapfuye nuwawe unda kagira ati uwahubwo wapfuye nuwawe umuzima nuwanje mbega byabuze umwami ati ni munza nirinkota barayimuzanira umwa uh, maze umwami arategeka ati uwo mwana muzima ni mu mucemo kabiri igice kimwe mu gihe umwe ikindi mu gihundi nuko wa mugore nyina w'umwana muzima wari umufitiye imbabazi abwira umwami ati nyagasani umuzima mu mwihere mwimwica nubwo bimeze bite ariko undaravuga ati oya ni bamucemo kabiri mubure na umubure vuga ngo mwizina rya Yesu in the name of Jesus umwana hera karategeka ati umwana muzima ni mu mwici na hato ni mu muhuri ya mugore kuko ari we nyina abami bose bumvise uko umwana aciye urugo rubanza baramutsinya kuko bose babonye ubwenge bwo mwijuru haleluya haleluya ntabwo wasoma hose ariko soma umurongo wa 22 let's read verse 20 yes it says and she arose at midnight and took my son from beside me while your servant slept and laid him at her breast and and laid her dead son at my breast when i rose in the morning to nurse my child behold he was dead but when i looked at him closely in the morning Behold, he was not the child I had born. But the other woman said, No, the living child is mine, and the dead child is yours. The first, say, ch the first said, No, the dead child is yours, and the living is mine. Thus they spoke to the king. 23. Then mm. the king said, The one says, My son is alive, and your son is dead. And the other says, No, but your son is dead, and my son is living. 24. And the king said, Bring me a sword. So a sword was brought before the king, and he said, Divide, divide the, ch the living child in two and give the half one and the other one. Then the woman whose son was alive uh, said to the king, Because her heart yearned for the son, O oh my lord, give her the living son, by no means put him to death. The other said, He shall be neither mine no, nor yours. No, 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 but the online. Aha, aha, aha. Tura kwa chile mkozi wiman. Welcome, man of God. Yes. No kukumu tamunga chile. Nagu mga mbonyo. Bariki wa sana. Na kubuzuta razi. 
I spoke about you before you Kandi came. Bisubira, muraza online. And I'm not going to repeat it. You'll see it online. <laughs> May God bless you. Aha. Ndasha kuvuga amagambo abiri cyangwa atatu Imana ashyize ku mutima. I want to say three words that God has put in my heart. Icyambere nuko igihe cyose umuntu ageze mu mayira abiri. Amayira abiri murayabona. Every time you are We was ndacaha, 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 ndamanuka, ndatambika, ndahava gute ndikura gute muri rikona. Igihe cyose ugeza aho hantu ntabwo abantu bajya bamenya kano kano ariko iyo hagurukanya mashimwe hagataho mu mayira abiri wabuza kureba inzira iraboneka amen when you are at a crossroad and you do not know which way to take you are confused when you come back with thanksgiving you find a way uyu urenze abatu banjirije abo twita intumwa abo twita bakomeye abo twita urufatiro rwacu reba ba paulo na sira bageraga hantu bari abagabo bagasanga ubuse Ababadu, uburoko turabuva mu gute bamaze gushyira iminyuru rukumaboko bafunza amaguru agatuza bakareze arareba imbere arareba inyuma nka petero bgacaga bari bumwice batiye mu bintu bikomeye bibira avuga ngo ntibaza mu yamajwi yo gusenga gusa niba nibivovose mukababaro kenshi bible avuga ngo bazamura amajwi mu gicuko when we look at the apostles, the prophets, and everyone in the Bible, when they were in a place where they were chained in prisons, when they did not have any other way, they would raise a voice of praise. Yeah. <laughs> when we were children, at least in Agukomera too. When we were children, at least uh, when I couldn't find you, I would tell you bad words while I was running because you were powerful then. When you're telling them bad words, you're increasing their anger. I don't know why I used to fight a lot. When I was a girl, but I used to fight a lot. I used to fight with people who were mightier than me. Mm. But I will defeat them no with only words no and pride. And I can beat you. Come on. Huh? Because, uh, because of my pride, I will tell them you're dying. You're and that person was taller than me. They would accept it and see that I would tell them. Except one girl. I will not forget yes. her until I die. Her name was Lilian. She had beaten all the schools. I told her you're going to die. She was not scared by my words, but she beat me. I even forgot my name. She beat me restlessly. But I would defeat others using Not my words. Paul and Silas would say when they were chained whenever Paul and Silas were chained to their arms to the legs they would raise their voices whenever you have no way say I have a helper a rescuer my father there was a woman who was at a crossroads 
when she had given birth amaze kubyara aronsa atangira kwishimira konsa she nursed the child she was happy to do that agira umunezero kwitwa umubyeyi she had the joy of becoming a mother yonsa umunsi wa mbere wow umunsi wa kabiri wow abona kana kyaragakinisha agira umunezero she nursed the first the second day she was joyful umunsi wa gatatu ngo bari ndaya ebyirizi bana mugenzi we apfusha umwana ari kamupfusha kubera kurangara amupfusha ya muryamiye amupfusha kubera mbyiti kikubera satan i tell you amen she, she the, the second prostitute lost her child because she had laid on her because of distraction nka kongera volume ya interpreter yes aramupfusha aramupfusha arabimenya ko yapfuye she lost her son and the son died aba babiri bombi bari munzimwe baryamye munzimwe bari mu cyumba kimwe these two were in the same room in the same house on the same bed uwapfushije yagiye kumva yumva yamaze gupfusha ibye arahindukira ajya kureba sanga yaryami y'umwana abibonye ko yamuryamiye bibira vuga ngo aragafata kana arakajyana arakajyana akajyana mu gituza cha wa wundi ufite umwana muzima afata umuzima amumukura mu gatuza aramujyana aramujyana amushiriwe atangira swat kumwonsa umurambo awushira mu gatuza kamugenzi when that woman realized that her son was dead she took her uh, she took the son and put it in the chest of the one who had a living child and he, she exchanged for her son she probably started feeding her but then she she had the chance of like exchanging them reka mbabwire nshuti z'Imana aba badamu babiri aba bantu babiri ni nabwo bwoko bw'abantu bahari uyu munsi kwisi turi muri ubwoko bubiri hari abantu bari maso kujo babyaye n'icyo bagomba kubyara hari nabandi bantu batari maso cyane barangaye kucyo babyaye kandi bakiryamiye there are two people two types of people in this world one the ones who are watchful of what they have given birth to and others who are distracted who are sleeping on what they gave birth to there's a man that we met i was coming from a place i remember him ava mu bisekuru bingahe bigera muri bine bya ba pasteur aba pasteur aba pasteur aba pasteur niyo nkuru yambiye no munyamerika umu black uh, aba pasteur kugera hasi kugera kuri we for na papa w'umubyara no mupasteur igitangaje na mama we yari umupasteur for four generations the, his ancestors all of them were pastors even his mother was a pastor turahura tukadutegereje twese indege tuzana hano ikigali we were waiting for an airplane that would bring us to kigali ariko yari possédé sindabona umuntu wari possédé nkuri ya mugabo yari possédé he was possessed by demons araza nyine urumva aranyegera urumva ibyo yashaka kubaza yashaka kubaza kazina buriya he approached me he probably wanted to ask for my name hanyuma ndamubwira ni jewe ndi pasteur i told her i am a pastor i told him i am a pastor arasegatsana ati nange e wara jewe ndi wacu ni pasteur 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 he left out ati rero ibintu bya pasteur ipunguza mdomo he said even all my ancestors are pastors don't talk about it he said it is in my blood ndavuga ni mama wangu turaza tugiye kwinjira nsanga niwe afite nimero inyegereye turicaranye hano before when we entered the plane he had the next seat to mine ndamubaza ugi kigari gukora iki ati i have fit businesses ikomeye cyane mfite 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 ambira ibintu bikomeye ariko nyina komeza ya gahunda yari yabanjirije and then i asked him what are you doing in kigali he said i have no. businesses in kigali but he continued asking ngiye kumva hari abantu baje bavuga ngo nari mu bihe byiza ya kubisigiswata kuko yasanze nange ndi mubi because he he missed because he knew eh, eh. i was in my moment ndafashwa ndafashwa turi mu ndege hanyuma imana imubuntu mvugana nubuzima bwe god gave me the grace to speak unto his life imana isani ntamuruye hamaso god opened my eyes ndamubwira nti urambeshe ntabwo ugikigari kubera business i told him you're not going to kigali for business ugikigari kubera umukobwa mwahuye kuri internet talalalala talalalala arankanurira arayazura neza nange mbonye bisa nkaho ari byo ni 
I, I told him you're going to Kigali because you're going to meet a woman and then he looked at me and then I knew that God was descendant. <laughs> Even uh, when we were kept working, try to be quick. Yeah. Kigali, where you're going, you don't even know the person that's taking you. God told me you're putting your life at risk. Because this man, he had slept on his child. Do you know what this means? His father was a mighty man in America. His mother was a mighty man. Instead, his parents kept praying for God to restore their son. Prayer works. Prayer works. These Every, there's a God in heaven that listens. I him, do you believe in giving your life to Christ? Look at me, madam. He says, Look at me in the eyes. Do you see the age that I have? I say, I swear to you. There's no devil. There's no demon. That cannot stop me after this moment here. To enter where God has called me to enter. That I saw his determination. He said, don't think I'm playing with you. Wow. Before the plane descended, we raised our voices. At Kanombe, she told me, she said, help me make this deal. I know she's waiting with flowers. And I swear never. to you, she said, I will not even greet her. He said, I don't know where you're going to make me pass. It won't work. He said, only that. I can do that. All the flowers. Yes. I, went, I connected him with the men of God that we went together. They they left. Left. And then he left. After he left. <laughs> I follow on YouTube and see a mighty man of God. He's a prophet. prophet. They call him a true prophet. The things he's doing with God are above your imagination. He, he has a ministry of prayers were answered and the things that oppressed him left him. What am I trying to say? This woman they took the living and they gave her the dead. The reason why we is because the devil had exchanged for us. Now we're in the season of Christmas. When we talk about Christmas, Amen. Amen. Package, use 
Yesuye. We talk about the gift that God has given to us, the full package. In our homes, we have prepared decorators. We have Christmas trees. We have gifts that are surrounding it. They are empty. What does that gift mean? What does that gift mean? It means the gift that God given us through Jesus Christ. It's a gift. We know how to sing it, but we don't know it. We know how to sing it, but we don't know it. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. When we talk about so this season, read the scriptures. We've been given peace through Christ. We've been given healing through Christ. We've paid the price to give us the peace. And it was beaten to heal us. When you're, not, when you're not walking through what God gave you, you've been stolen from. When you do not see what, when you do not see what God gave you in action. Mm. It means the devil took the living from you. Do not let this year pass without bringing back your living. Do not accept to stay with the dead when there is the living. This man is changing the world. He was prophesying on the streets. They found a drug addict. He said, you're going to meet Christ the same way I met him. Do you know that I see that man in me? Mm. The devil makes us do foolish things because he wants us to lay on the pressure things that we've been As you come back with praise this evening. Mm. Come back with all the valuables that Christ has given you. Those are the praises. The Bible says, is there anyone who's happy? Let them sing. Let them sing. Come back with thanksgiving. Come back, Come back with thanksgiving with the valuables that were stolen from you. Come back with thanksgiving with the valuables that were stolen from you. Staying seated. Look at the conflicts that were in this house. Bahere y joro ryo samubwira ngo uwanje wapfu uwapfuye nuwawe unda tuwapfuye nuwawe uwapfuye nuwawe saying the dead is yours the, the dead is yours they did not know how to solve the conflict it did not work they said, the bible says in the morning she saw she, she, it. she said this is not my child they changed for me. She saw it when the sun had set. That is why you should get out of darkness. This man that I'm telling you, he went out of darkness and he restored the valuable. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's come back with praises in the house of God. When this woman saw that there was so much conflict, she went to a man beyond them. 
aragenda shakisha umwami Finding the king when you're a prostitute, do you think it's easy? You have to know who the king is and not you know king. This was the king Salomo. Solomon. Solomon was wise, he was wealthy. He was very wise. The two prostitutes coming from nowhere. How did they no get audience? Into, how did they get into the palace? Where did they pass? How did she know to go to ask for a, a, a appointment? They were living in one room with the children. Do you think they had a life? That means they did not have a life. She said the kingdom of God is so If it doesn't work by faith, it's not just gonna go anyhow. Let me tell you, Christians. We want things for free. We want things for free. You want a two-minute prayer to solve all of your problems. I love telling the truth. That's not how it works in the kingdom. There's a role of men of God. There's your part to play. When this woman did not, if she had not played her part, and left her house room, and to ask where the kingdom is, if she had not asked where the palace is, they cannot just take my child anyhow. They cannot take my child and I keep quiet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A child that I carried for nine months, I suffered for. They can't just take her any him anyhow. If anything has to change in your life, it starts with you. It starts if with you. The change that you're looking for is going to start with you. Whether you pass in the water, in the fire, it's going to you're going to reach there. If you do not struggle, the devil doesn't know that you're not equal to him. The Bible shows us his part. It says, The Bible doesn't say, sing for him, it says, fight him. When you fight him, he's going to flee. He said, when you fight him, Amen. When we fight him, he's going to burn. The Bible doesn't say he's going to disrespect you. The Bible doesn't say he's going to delay. The Bible says if you're going to fight him, he will When you fight him, he's going to flee. Which means one of the things he has experienced, he knows how to flee. He, he doesn't know he, ha he hasn't found people who make him run Let me tell you friends of God If you've not been fed up If the things that you're not That have enough you're, no, you're no longer a, You're not a candidate to be returned Your, your child alive Let me try you the three things that this woman did. She set in her mind to find a way that leads her to the palace. The second, she set in her mind that there's nothing that's going to steal the valuables she had from God. The things that God gave you, the Talents in you. 
the wealth that's in you, your home, your family, your spiritual life, your generation, your children, your job, your body, those are the valuables that God has given to you. If you do not set it in your mind to fight for the valuables you've been given, and you should find a way where there is a king. Things will not be solved in the house. They will be solved before the king. I say that your things won't be solved just in your house and your bed. Our situations are so in front of the king. Before the king. Come before the king. In, in the room it hasn't worked. Your words have not solved anything. There are things that are solved before the king. Sometimes I face something. When it is the first time I'm seeing it. But this word comes back to me. Take it before the king. We have a king that is never defeated. He's never tired. He has mighty arms, not like people. This woman told me something and I thought she was lying. After three minutes, I saw the whole family, the, the husband and the sister. She had, she, she had a child of four I months. She had a dream. She had a she was out with her friends and then they had fish. When she woke up, she wanted to eat fish alone. When she approached the fridge, she took fish and put it in water. She wanted to eat the fish raw. Yes, she, she prepared the fish when it was still raw. She could not wake the maids up. She prepared it. She put in hot water. It was a big fish. She, the, she wanted to take the inside of the fish. She, she felt that she could not. It looked yummy to her. She put in the mouth. She started from the head. She ate it. She ate it all until the tail. You know how it has many so many it would pierce through her. She would, she would, she had, so, she had so much blood, you could not differentiate her blood from the fishes. She was screaming, the husband came. He saw that all the inside of the fish were from here. He said, what's happening to you? She, she said, I had dreams. I was sitting with so-and-so. We were eating fish. When we, wait, we woke up, I felt I wanted to eat it. I was craving fish. Now, because there are people they were hiding it, they hid it. They found doctors. They said, we don't know, we can't help you. How can we cure her? She's going to eat it as well. So, they counseled her, they went through different professionals. She would eat raw meat 
even raw meat after the raw fish. She put in so, ma- so much salt. And she drank so much, so a lot of water. When she was breastfeeding. So they kept it and hid it and hid it. So ndimuri office mbono have no kusabarande. When I was in the office, they came without any appointment. Have a single. That was the first time I heard such a story. When she opened her mouth, there were wounds. We keep fresh. Raw, fresh wounds. Her mouth was swollen. Numva marirange kumaso ndavuga nari ko satani uri mu buraga. I can tears I said the, the devil is a liar. Ndababara nkiraho nibwo nahise mbona umugabo we yinjiye kuko urumva yahise agira depression indwara yagahinda iramurenga. Agahora ashaka kwiyahura. He, wa, he always wanted to commit suicide. So ba mushira ha abantu bakomeza bagira gute bamureba rero yagize gutya arasohoka. And then she went out. Umugabo wenda mubaza ibi ni ibiki mbona racecetse nawe byaramurenza aravuga ati mbana numuntu cyangwa ni nyamaso I asked the man he said he was over he was he was over it he was like am i living with a man or an animal Arambira ati ikibazo gikomeye nuko have no kugira ikindi kintu yimarira noneho Na kindi kintu habe na gato Yari umusenzi amasengesha agira gute she cannot do anything by herself. She used to pray, but she no longer prays. She used to read the Bible, but now she's not. She used to help the kids with homework, but now no, she's not doing it. At work, she's not working. Because all of those ones, she has a swollen mouth. I told him, I told her what has been solved in your room there is, a, there is a king that is over the things that have oppressed me let me tell you patience we don't fight to get to the to before the king. The, 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 the devil is stealing our life of prayer. We, we, we are left when we, we only say two words. I cannot end the preaching without talking about prayer. You ask a Christian and they say, I have prayed. And you find they can't even spend that time before a man. They give everything else the time, but before the king where everything is solved, he has they cannot do it. Everything you can do it. When you're talking to your friends. When you're talking with your colleagues, you have conversations. You know how you talk to the people as if you're connected. The conversations are flowing. But a person you don't know. When we used to go to Kampala with us, you would sit with a person you don't know, a stranger. You would become friends then and then. You would go conversations. They go on the road selling brochettes. Wherever you get, they buy for you. You become friends. You become friends from the bus. You meet there and your conversations are flowing. Men, when you're flirting, you, you cannot be lack of words. You always have words. 
you find them. I asked myself, why is everything else possible? And when, when it comes to talking to the king where everything is solved, we are lack of words. Do you think about that? When you talk with your friends, you find words. When you're on your phone, it works. When you're in an interview, everything's flowing. When you're on YouTube, you're not bored. Everything is not boring. When it comes to kneeling before the king, where everything is so, your words are lacking, and you start yawning, you start scratching yourself, you start as if you're sitting on bees, you start, you start sleeping in your Bible, you start praying while sleeping in your Bible. Where is the problem? The devil has stolen from you what's valuable because he knows when you know how to pray. You will run away from him for good. For good. When you develop your relationship with God, more than you speak with Jane, and you add every story, you are solving great things in the spiritual realm. You are destroying great things in the spirit. I thought the woman is the first one to hear that. What are you eating? She says there's no there's no time when I always have raw fish in my car. Because whenever he take me, I, I I take it. I because eat it. Because it's the first time. Sometimes they should they cook it. Like. She she brought them from her car. I saw evil things. Things. she started eating it from her head. My eyes saw it. She would eat everything. And she would open her eyes as if she's obsessed. She said, I told him there is a king in heaven that's going to solve this. Her husband, I told the husband we're not going to leave this place without killing your, your wife. The man is not saved, he said, Pastor. We have a baby. I wanted her to go and nurse the baby because I see it is so Don't you believe that God can do it, but not, just not this? He said, and then he's crying. I see my wife as an animal. Sometimes, one time he, she beat me. Our eldest child was afraid and terrified of her. We have an enemy. Our eldest child was afraid and terrified of her. I even called my friends and tell them, come here. They came. And then we called the God of heaven. We were, we were the, the husband was standing. He was just crying. So if, if God saves my wife, I'm going to serve him all of my life. Praise God that delivered her. He was, she was delivered. I love how men say things and they do it. Now he's on fire. He said he only knows the, the, the scripture. It is solved before the king. Tell your neighbor 
get used to before the king because that's where we take our praises. When you, when you lay before the king, you keep praising him because he dwells in the praises of his children. Psalms 4, 7, and 8. Shine us with your light. Psalm 4, Psalms 4. Psalm 4, Zaburi Kane. Oh my God. Aha, now I just. Okay. Karindwi. Kane Karindwi. Harihoven Shibaba Zabati. Nindu Zat Quere Kibitunezeza. There are many. Nindu Zat Quere Kibitushimisha. There are many who say, Who will show us some good? Who will show us where we will give our praises? What will make us praise the Lord properly? They're going to answer us. Amen. Amen. Lift up the light of your face upon us, O Lord. Put more joy in my heart than when there is grain and wine abound. Put joy in my heart. That's that, than when grain and wine is abounding. Thank you. Listen to what this psalm is saying. What can fill our hearts with praise? What can fill our hearts with praise? What can fill our hearts with praise? They have where they're located, their places where you can find them. And then he mm. Mm. Lift up the, the light of the face of the, the Lord. Let me tell you. He's answering by saying. When we, when we tell God to show us his face, that's where we'll find unstopping praise. Praise is not found when uh -huh. we have a crusade. They're not given by a theme of thanksgiving. When you see God in the presence of God. It, is, it says that it is greater joy than when we have grain abounding. Oh yes. The day John saw the eyes of Christ in the eyes of Christ, he was, he was he seemed like he was dead. The, the tomb of Lazarus. Yes, when, when he saw, the Lazarus, Lazarus came back alive. The psalmist says, Everlasting Amen. Everlasting praise is only found when you're able to see the face of God. Which means what we run after for joy and peace it does not have it the, the person that you're blaming for your lack of peace you're lying for you're lying for that job you're lying for that job 
When you're able to take your things to the king, you'll have peace that is greater than harvest. The king says, bring a sword. A king is the only one who has a sword that can only fight for your loss. A sword that can restore the things that the devil is stealing every day. He has a that can change things that are around you. They called the wife Vashiti. A king called him. She did not respond because of the party that was before her. The there were in a feast for seven days enjoying when the king called. She said, no, I am not coming. When, whenever you don't want to be before the king, you're stopping your source of joy. Let me close. Your crown is going to be taken from you because you do not answer the king. Your king. Esther is already somewhere. Mm. Esther is ready, hey, not ready to assume your power. Esther is always ready to take your place. Whenever you're not in the presence of God, you're in another presence. It is a time to know where the praises come from. Full praises in the presence of God. We lack a life of Your life when it is before God, your miracle, you do not miss your miracle. May God bless you. Allow me to say one prayer. No, Tava, to Rashoj. Mania Mera to Gahaguka to Gasing. Allow me so that we can pray one prayer. The Katugiru Namingo Ahamashima Truka to Rahas. Let's tell the king we know where the thanksgiving comes from. The Suvisa Kuru Fatiroma. The Suvisa Kuru Fatiroma. To subiza hanu nyahonga. To subiza imbera yumami. Awa tubari zwa hodu kuru mune zero witeka. Ongeru mjutsu mutimu gushaka mngitore rorja. Udu subiza hanu nyahonga. Oh yes Lord. Ooh, thank you Jesus. Lord, we pray with your people. After sharing your words, I pray that may it bear fruit more than a thousand. May it bear fruit in our lives. You know what's in our hearts. You know what's in our lives. I pray in the name of Jesus. Restore unto us the valuables our spirit. Restore us for the king. Everything is in the We come back with full thanks. We give you glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.